All right, now that we've created an exploded view or presentation view from our animation tab, we're going to go ahead and create a final drawing. So if we click on the workspace, go to drawing, in this case, we're going to pick from animation rather than from design. It's going to pull up storyboard one. That's what we're actually been working on. This is storyboard one. You can see it down in the left. And then we'll go ahead and we're going to populate this um, in this case, we're going to switch back to an 11 by 8.5 and, and then click OK. Now this launches our drawing. Uh, we can see the parts there. Let's go ahead and see if it will fit if we're one to one. Um, it's pretty darn close. Um, We'll see about shrinking down the title block um, in order for it to fit or we can just change this from 1 to 1 to 1 1.5 and then it fits pretty well so let's just do that click and then turn on shaded and then click OK so now we're going to go ahead and Let's slide this to the left a bit. And now um, we're going to end up adding a table and balloons. Um, so take the tables, click on that. And then we want to place our table just above our drawing or above the uh, title block. Click there actually automatically went up and to the right um, and in this case it added the balloons now our drawing actually is pretty cluttered so we're going to go ahead and go down to sheets sheet size change to 17 and 11 now we should be able to move this whole thing Go ahead and hit escape. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to need to move the table. So we'll click on move. We'll select the table, we'll cl transform, click, and then move it down until it is in the location we want. Then actually left click, slide it over. and position it then click OK. Now we're going to go ahead and move this over again. Um, maybe we'll go ahead and change the size one to one. And then we can grab each of the balloons and move them so that they are not positioned on our drawing. If you also want to reposition the arrow itself, you can grab that end. So if you want it to be located on a different part of the object, sometimes that makes sense. So you can move either of them. And now we have our red part, blue part, yellow part, orange part, and green part. Now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and save this drawing. Let's call it Anaya PC. EXP for exploded drawing. Click Save. So now that that's saved, it saves it under here because it's derived from the assembly. 
All right, so the last thing we might notice is that in our table, we actually see that there's material listed, and these are all listed as steel. So in this case, um, they're actually going to be made out of wood. So we're going to want to modify that material, which we never set in the original parts drawings or in the models. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up our models. I've got my red model here. In this case, if I right click on the red part component, then I have a choice for physical material. Once that opens, I can scroll down and open the wood folder. And it's probably going to be a pine wood. So we'll go ahead, put that there, then click close. Then it switches back. That's our main color. So it doesn't change the appearance but it does change the physical aspect. So then I'll go ahead and click save and then say pine. Okay. And then once that updates and saves, then if I go back to my exploded drawing and then I'm going to go ahead and save it, call this materials. then I should be able to update the table from there. So then we see the red part is now not up to date, but it doesn't really live in this drawing. It's actually in the main model. So we'll have to go and open the assembly. We'll change to our design here. If we right click, we can actually see that there's an option for get latest. So I click there. It's going to go ahead and update that. Now I hit save. Say update red. And now when I go back to my drawing, Then we've got an update for this reference. So I click on that and now this updates and then I'll notice that the material here has updated to pine. So you do that for each of the parts. Um, in the future we'd probably set that first and uh, we'd be good to go. That's it. Have a good day.